Hello, in this video, we're going to find the slope of the line given two points. So I have three examples here and I hope that you watch this video until the end because three different things are going to happen here that is good that you see. Okay, first of all, I need to write uh, the formula for the slope, which is and that slope is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I am going to label my points so then I can plug in the values for x and y. So x2 and y2. It doesn't matter which one you call your point 1 and which one you call your point 2. You should get exactly the same answer. So let's start plugging in uh, these values. M is equal to Y2, which is six. So six minus the minus from the formula Y1, but Y1 is negative three. So minus negative three over x2 which is 2 so 2 minus this minus again from the formula x1 which is 5 so minus 5 so this two negatives in a row is a positive so i'm going to change that into a positive so this is 6 plus 3 divided by 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So m is equal to 9 divided by negative 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 and a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So my slope is equal to negative 3 for the first problem. Let's see what happens on the second problem. Again, I'm going to write my formula, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, and I'm going to label my points, x2 and y2. And now I'm going to start plugging in the values. m is equal to y2. If I look at the points, y2 is 7, so 7 minus from the formula y1, which is also 7 as you can see here y1 is 7 and this over x2 which is 2 minus from the formula x1 which is negative 2 so negative 2 7 minus 7 is 0 and again I have these two negatives in a row which is a positive so 2 plus 2 so m is equal to 0 divided by 4. Now, you can have 0 divided by any number, 0 divided by any number, and that will always be 0, okay? So this is 0. If you do with your calculator, 0 divided by 4 is 0. Let's see what happens on the third case that I have. Again, I'm going to write the formula so you can start remembering this formula. y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I'm going to go ahead and label my points, x2 and y2. And I'm going to start plugging in. m is equal to y2, which is 3. So 3 minus y1 which is negative 5. Again, I have two negatives in a row, which you already know is a positive, divided by x2, which is 4. 4 minus from the formula x1, which is 4. So this is 3 plus those two negatives in a row is a plus 5 divided by 4 minus 4, which is 0. 
So I have three plus five, that's eight divided by zero. And here's the thing, I can have zero divided by any number and that is doesn't matter that will always be zero but what cannot happen is that you have any number divided by zero in fact if you do that with your calculator you will get an error so if you have zero in the denominator since that cannot happen you will say that your slope is undefined so that will be your answer. You don't have a number for the slope. The slope is undefined. So again, you can find a number with a fraction, a whole number, a positive, a negative number, a decimal, whatever, for your slope. Or you can get for your slope zero whenever you have zero on top. Or you will get your that your slope is undefined whenever you have zero in the denominator once you plug in all the values in the formula i hope this video was helpful if so please hit the uh, like button and see you on the next video bye